Hey everyone, welcome to the Crypto ZX channel. If you're new, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. But now let's get right in today's topic, which is regarding none other than Terra Luna Classic. You know, I did make an update last night for you guys, but you know, something happened with the audio which was really frustrating. So, you know, that video has gone straight to waste, but I had to come and update you guys because I did see some comments coming in saying, Hey Crypto ZX, can you please update us with the Terra Luna Classic? Update? update today so you know i had to come out and make this update for you guys so as of june 16th 2023 you guys can see terra luna classic is currently sitting at 9350 we still have about four zeros in front of the price we are down a little bit in usd comparative over the last 24 hours we're down about 2.5 percent uh in usd comparative but we're down 5.5 percent in bitcoin comparative over the last 24 hours and i will explain as to why that is happening if we're looking at its market cap it's holding really really strong above the half a billion dollar mark so that is a big plus point that we need to uh, keep in mind when we are looking at the charts for terra luna classic and the 24 hour trading volume is currently sitting at 60.6 million but now let's shift our focus towards the price see what is happening and where we could see the price going in the immediate short term uh, but before we begin, uh, begin uh, just a uh, quick disclaimer that anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto. So one thing, you know, is clear right now. If anyone is looking at the chart, you know, we can see that the price has pretty much been trading around this range over the past few days now, especially, um, you know, since we broke out of this, um, you know, accumulation zone after a massive sell off since the month of March. As you guys know, we've been in a downwards trajectory since the month of March especially after losing this massive level of support but you know on June 4th we did have a massive breakout towards the upside and you know we did see the price of Terra Luna Classic go up in a single day about 37 percent and that has really uh, woken up Terra Luna Classic once again and you know a lot of interest is once again coming you know no one really knows as to what has really triggered Terra Luna Classic to break out towards the upside like this but my personal uh, you know they, you know, my personal opinion on this is I think there is something that we are not aware of uh, or it's just whales manipulating. You know, there's a lot of exchanges right now. There's a lot of centralized exchanges that are not supporting the revival of Terra Luna Classic, implementing that burning uh, mechanism on their exchanges. So, um, you know, that could be a possibility uh, that could potentially happen. Remember, the biggest exchange in the crypto space, which is Binance, is supporting Terra Luna Classic revival. And I've shared this with you guys before, too. You know, Binance has so much power. People don't really understand how much power. Our Binance really has they can single-handedly literally you know CZ himself he can delist every um, you know stable coin and just keep the BUSD and um, USTC on there and that could literally trigger uh, you know USTC to go back up to that one dollar mark he can literally repack that so that's how much power uh, basically he has so that's why I always use that example uh, so you know this is huge um, and you know since this breakout what we're starting to see is that you know there's a lot of accumulation happening for the price of Terra Luna Classic right now uh, but um, you know if I bring out the measuring tool for you guys um, you guys can see since this dip you know since this wick all the way down to that June 10th price you can see we're still up about 22.85 percent so that should not be taken uh, with a grain of salt that shows the momentum is there you know this is the easiest way to find out that if there is a momentum and that's when you know we see massive massive drops in the price reason as to why terra luna classic dropped um you know quite sharply and to be exact we dropped about 25 percent in a single day reason why that happened is because bitcoin did go down to twenty four thousand eight hundred twenty six dollar level if the price of terra luna classic just stayed around here or just fluctuated here and there maybe saw like a five percent gain then you know that shows the momentum is not there that much more correlation is on btc but you know we saw you know it bounced back about 26 to 27 percent since that low that shows interest level 
level is still there and it's back to where it was the past few days but now this is what we want to be paying attention to right now so you guys want to listen up to that so you know there is a huge level of resistance that's coming up on a uh, terra luna classics price which is around this 1028 cents mark if we're able to break out of that range you know i think uh, it won't have any issues retesting that um you know june 4th high and this june 4th high goes back to the previous uh you know summer where we saw the price literally skyrocket let's give it a refresh live something is happening with the charts they're not loading up let's go on the daily time frame come on come on there we are all right let me just show you guys what i am talking about right now oh my goodness what is this oh yeah hold on we need kucoin charts there we are we're back in business so basically it goes back to this point right here look at this this right here if i bring out the highlighting you see this if we crack out of that main target still is around here which i've been talking to you guys about um you know quite some time on my channel which is at that 1450 cents mark and we know what happened when we crossed that we saw a massive massive rally so could that be in play this time around too i think so you know I'm not going to write it off, but in order for that to happen, we do need to retest that June 5th high. And if we're able to retest that and volume is on our end and BTC starts moving back to the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement level, um, you know, that could trigger Terra Luna Classic to make a massive move. Now, one thing we should not be ignoring is how good Terra Luna Classic is holding in its USD comparative right now. Not much volatility going on in the price of Terra Luna Classic, um, but you know, looking at dominance, guys, we're seeing BTC dominance hitting almost yearly highs right now. And that is why we are seeing a, quite a significant drop in BTC dominance over the last 24 hours for Terra Luna Classic. That is the main reason because right now, more and more money is flowing into BTC. We had a huge announcement uh, just earlier today that BlackRock, um, you know, has, um, you know, gone for, you know, um, they are going for an ETF, a Bitcoin ETF, which is causing a massive, massive, um, you know, momentum in the crypto space. A lot of people are getting excited. So that begs the question. And also amazing news is coming out of China. Huge news is coming out of China. So are we about to see Bitcoin really push back into the 61.8 this weekend? If that happens, let's expect dominance to increase to 52%. That is on the table right now. I shared that in my Pepe update. We could potentially see dominance even increase to 52%. So altcoins are about to lag. Uh, you know, it's no secret they're going to lag in dominance. Um, you know, BTC uh, comparative, but you know, in USD comparative, I am expecting uh, you know altcoins to rally with. Bitcoin so things are very very exciting you know um, we will see what happens I'm liking what I'm seeing with Terra Luna Classic this is exactly what I want to be seeing happening uh, but like I said we need to see the price break out of that level of resistance but right now we do need to keep in mind Bitcoin is a little uh, you know um, having a lot of momentum on its side of course and BTC dominance is a little iffy because it's literally climbing like there's no tomorrow but I'm really uh, surprised as to how good Terra Luna Classic is doing but let me know in the comment section what your personal thoughts are do you guys agree with my analysis do you think that if we do retest the June um, 5th highs you know we could potentially see us retest this level of resistance which we have not seen since the month of March do you guys think something like that is possible um and uh, what are your personal thoughts on the overall um you know terra luna classics future uh let me know in the comment section uh do not forget to uh, tell me if you guys want to see more daily updates every other day also let me know that love you all see you tomorrow in crypto zx and peace out